Hey guys, how's it going? So I'm back with a video, finally. I feel like it's been forever since I've actually gotten to open up any Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. Uh, probably because it has been forever, it seems. But uh, I ordered a few more boxes of Legendary Duelist Duels from the Deep. So I'm pretty excited about this. I um, I really do like the cards in, it, in this particular set. So... <clears throat> like I said, I was really excited when I when uh, they came out with it. Believe it or not, I actually <laughs> a lot of you are probably going to be like what, but I actually like this set way more in reference to like the cards than <laughs> the the uh, um, Ghost from the Past two. I mean, I I know that's kind of I probably shouldn't say that, but. I don't know. I just, I feel like Ghost from the Past 2 was a big letdown, so that's kind of why I'm there on that one. But anyway, so we're going to open up one of these. I'm going to save one for my private collection of uh, unopened stuff. So uh, I'm going to save a box. Um, and uh, we have already pulled the Forbidden Droplet out of this, so we were very blessed there. So <clears throat> I don't know which one but I'm going to pick. Honest to God, both packages look pretty... Uh, I mean, they both look pretty rough, but... I mean, not not horribly rough, but... They look like they went through it, so... And still the, the Konami package... Uh, plastic packaging, so that's good. <clears throat> but, um... We'll go ahead and open this one. This one looks to be a little bit better condition. Uh, in my opinion. <laughs> so, we're gonna go ahead and open that one up. Uh, move some stuff. I got... I got some card storage boxes that I need to put together. <clears throat> got cards all over the place. So, anyway, guys, here we go. We're going to open this bad boy up. We're hoping to get um, maybe another Forbidden Droplet. The Ghost Rare, preferably rather get the Ghost Rare. But, honestly, at this point, the Ghost Rare is so friggin' cheap. Probably better just to buy it. It's literally going for like a good day. I think it was going for like 30, 40 bucks. Which for a ghost I mean that's that's pretty cheap. <clears throat> well bear with me for one sec, guys. I'm going to open up the TCG app. And we're back. So yeah, got that pulled up. So yeah, the ghost rare uh what is it? The number 101 shark or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going for $34 on TCG. So, honestly, guys, like I said, if you're just really big into collecting ghost rares, this is going to be probably one of the very few times where you're going to be able to find a ghost rare for hardly anything. So, so if you're into ghost rares, now would be the time to get this particular, whoops, this particular ghost rare. So, you better jump on that quick. <clears throat> before they it goes up but the forbidden droplet is still the most expensive card it's going for fifty two dollars right now so that's pretty good and uh like i said we were very very blessed to have pulled that card so hey right off the bat we got us an ultra rare abyss shark <clears throat> this is actually a pretty decent card uh crazy thing about it though when I uh, opened up my uh, first box of this, um, we, well, actually, first two boxes, excuse me. The first two boxes that we opened up of this, we literally pulled every card, every good card, not every card, but every good card out of this thing, except for uh, the Marincess Dive and the Ghost Rare number 101 Silent Horn Shark Arc. So, crazy. That like we were able to actually do that, absolutely insane. Really cool. Really happy that we were able to do that. So, so hopefully we can maybe add to the collection uh, of all the uh, of this particular set, Crystal Shark. And if not, you know it. That's okay. That's how it goes sometimes. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. 
I gotta go to work tonight, so I'm not, I'm doing fine. Can't complain, I'm very, very blessed to have a job, so I'm very happy about that. And everybody in my family is doing good. We just got back from the lake. Hope you all had a phenomenal 4th of July. I know we did. Absolutely had a ball. So, so happy about that. <clears throat> and if you haven't done so already, you need to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like this video and follow me on the channel for some more great epic openings. Because we got a lot of good stuff coming up uh, in the future uh, in reference to Yu-Gi-Oh! Got a lot of good um, sets coming out. There's a set coming out in August. Um, what is it called? I, I literally just looked it up. It just shows you how awake I am right now. I actually, uh, I got to work night shift tonight, so that's why I'm kind of uh, got up so late. <laughs> so, but yeah, there's a really good set coming out, uh, I think in August. So, um looking forward to that i love this card this card looks so cool absolutely insane looking card number 106 the giant hand Ugh, that thing's creepy looking <laughs> ah and there he is the legendary fisherman part of me is a little bummed out that they didn't make like i don't know i, I feel like he like the legendary fisherman like he he should have had like a a better rarity because there's like good day there's like three different variants of him now let me see there's the third one so there's three variants of him and uh he's really cool looking hey there's ultra marine cess coral triangle this is a pretty i think this is actually a decent one too yeah yeah this is on the first page so it's one of the uh more rare ones but yeah like Here's the other one. I wish the Citadel Well um, and the Legendary Fisherman's, the all three variants, were... Uh, I wish they had gotten a better rarity. Because I absolutely love the uh, those two cards. Because like I said in the, the other um, Legendary Duelist opening, I actually have built a water deck. So I really do enjoy, you know... I really, I really do like uh, water type monsters, and uh, I also just love swimming. So that's another thing why I just really, really like it. Hey, Levi Dragon, deadliest, De deadless. Yeah, it's so frustrating though, because like when I built my, like <laughs> when I had built my uh, uh, water deck on Duel Links, I mean, you know, a while back. Okay, this is a while back, guys. There was just was not like there, it was hard to build a, a deck that kind of made your your like the deck that you had comp uh, competitive with like you know some of the more like bigger and and more tested decks in that particular game. There's another super cool. But yeah, it was just really difficult because like you know you can only do so much. It's seen with the uh, with the water cards, but you know, I, it wasn't necessarily. I wasn't. It wasn't a bad deck by any means, but pretty cool though. Oh, I'm so glad to, I'm back opening up Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. It's been so long it feels since I've opened up Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. Cause like seriously, guys, it's just it's been. I think it's been like a week or so. Citadel well again. Yeah, I think it's been like a week though. Cause, uh, cause like I said, I just I bought all this from TCG, so this is all literally TCG stuff. Ooh, that got damaged. Um, cause my you know local WalMarts like jellyfish and uh, whatnot have not had anything whatsoever. It's been really a bummer. Nothing, and and it's crazy because I have a really really good friend of mine who collects Pokemon stuff, and he 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 has collected some Yu-Gi-Oh stuff with me uh, in the past, but he's really big on Pokemon, and and, and that's all good, you know, whatever. But just Pokemon just isn't my uh, cup of tea, I guess you could say, or a cup of coffee if that's what you like to go with. But yeah, he um 
he collects Pokemon stuff, and he seems to think that Pokemon stuff is kind of going down somewhat. We were talking about it one day, and, uh, yeah, he just, he said that Pokemon stuff seems to kind of be taking a hit a little bit. I know that, I, I think, if I remember right, I, th I feel like they just came out with, uh, nice, there's another super. I feel like they just came out with a new set. But, I don't know. Anyway, guys, so we are on the left side of the box now. So, we've gone, we're about halfway through. And, uh, so far we've gotten some pretty decent stuff. Hoping that we could possibly pull the Ghost Rare and the Marincess Dive. Which, you know, like I said, that's like the only other Ultra Rare. that I, That's the only Ultra Rare I haven't pulled out of the set. So, to pull that would be absolutely amazing to uh, add to the collection. And it would just be really exciting. Because, all in all, I've only bought four box sets of this. So, how crazy would it be if we literally got every card in it with only four boxes? Crazy. <clears throat> oh my goodness. I think I got burned a little bit on the 4th of July, but not too bad though, thankfully. <laughs> oh my goodness, Legendary Fisherman. <clears throat> yeah, and to, and to kind of go back to you about what I said about being more excited about this than goes from the past, well, let me take that back, because I think what I, I kind of meant to say was I was really excited about the Ghost from the Past, like the excitement that I had for Ghost from the Past was way better. But in the end result, I was I'm more content and happier with this set. Because Ghost from the Past, I mean, just, I don't know. I just feel like that that set just, I don't know, it was just way too good to be true. And everybody was just going crazy over it. I'm just like, okay. I don't know. That's just my opinion. <clears throat> It was a great set. I did get everything I wanted out of it, so I can't complain too much. I'm very, very blessed, very, very happy that I was able to find the Red Eyes and the Cyber Dragon. And, I mean, good day. I found the Cyber Dragon the day that the set came out. So, I mean, that right there, that, I mean, I have to be happy about that. So, nice. We got another Ultra, Marincess Aqua Aragonant. Aragonant. I guess is how you say that. So that's cool. I think that is a... I think that's like a dollar card. Ish. Yeah. It's like a dollar twenty-one market price. So not bad. Not bad. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, honestly. <clears throat> I think at this point I'd rather pull the Ghost Rare... Just to oh nice ocean I, this card looks amazing I think this artwork on this thing is absolutely epic but I think at this point though I'd rather pull the uh, ghost rare just to have the ghost rare instead of I would I mean having another forbidden droplet would be absolutely insane but I just I'd rather have a ghost rare personally so that's just me that's just me we're almost done with this box though. And I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. This has been... I'm, I'm tickled to death that I'm finally able to open up some Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, so... It's been a while. I've just been thinking about opening stuff up. And been trying to get more product, but it's just so difficult these days. Because, like, you know, going back to the Pokemon thing with my buddy, we were talking about it. Like, seriously, all the Walmarts that I go to... I, seriously... There is nothing but Pokemon stuff. There's Pokemon. There's Magic. There is literally zero Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. And I, and I mean, literally, there is absolutely no Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. I mean, there's not even sleeves. Like, those little, like, commemorative, like, sleeves that they sell for, uh, oh, nice. Mega Fortress Whale. Oh, that car looks so amazing. Um, but there's not even sleeves to, like, you know, sleeve your cards. Like, all the whole, uh... You know, the Karibo sleeves from the, when they came out with, uh, the Brothers of, uh, Legend and all that. 
and then the other one, I can't remember what it is, but just, it's, it's crazy, and, and I just don't understand, like, where, either the Walmarts there aren't buying, like, a whole lot of Yu-Gi-Oh product, or people are just buying it up left and right. That's the only thing I can conclude, because I, honest to God, don't know, because it is just absolutely insane how hard it is to actually find Yu-Gi-Oh stuff at Walmart and Target. And, I mean, I've seriously, like, there's, let's see, one, two, three, four. I have five Walmarts in reference to, like, near where I work and where I live. So, all together, I have, like, five Walmarts that I can go to, and they never have stuff, gener like, generally. Doom Kraken, that looks cool. Alright guys, last pack, last pack, last pack, last pack magic. Send me a like and subscribe to the video for some luck because I need it. We need to find that ghost rare or forbidden droplet. You know, at this point, I'd take either one. One. Two. Oh, darn. Bummer, we didn't get it. Darn it. Well, that's alright guys. The way it goes sometimes. Well, we got some pretty decent ultra rares in this. Can't complain. Uh, hopefully, I didn't pick the wrong. Hope I probably ended up picking the wrong box. Is what it is, but uh, yeah, I'm not going to open that box. Going to keep the box closed. Oh, that has a print line in it. Look at that. Yep. Oh well. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm so excited to be back opening up product, Yu-Gi-Oh product for you guys. Like I said, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment down below on anything you want to see in the near future in reference to like new Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks. I'll see you next time.